हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिजाइन दिस फोर क्लैंप इन क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ दिस पार्ट इज मेनली क्रिएटेड यूजिंग एक्सट्रूड एंड देर आर मल्टीपल अप्रोचेस टू डू दिस यू कैन गो विथ एनी वन बट वेन यू डिजाइन दिस पार्ट योर वर्क फ्लो शुड बी सच वे दैट वेन एवर यू मॉडिफाई दिस पार्ट दिस पार्ट शुड नॉट फेल दैट मीन्स योर पार्ट शुड बी इजी टू मॉडिफाई सो इफ यू चेंज सम डायमेंशन इट शुड नॉट फेल एंड फॉर दैट keep your sketches simple avoid rounds inside the sketch and once we complete this part i'll show how to generate photorealistic image within creo parametric now let's start this part and for that go to new part solid assign the name and say okay now when you start this part you will either go with this face or this face so whichever way you find better you can go with that so i'll start with this face so i'll directly go to extrude on to the right datum plane normal switch of the datums now the first thing i'll do is i'll add a center line somewhere here then a circle just like this this die is 50 one more circle here this is 30 then go for tangent line select this circle and this circle then this circle and this circle now the gap between this circle and this circle this is 100 now if you see this dimension 140 This is a over constraint dimension so I'll not use this dimension these three dimensions are enough to create this section now add one more line somewhere here let it be this line parallel with this go for mirror and mirror this line now you go for delete segment and delete unwanted segments so I'll delete this segment this segment this segment and this segment i'll add two more circle one is here and another one is here now this is dia 30 and this is 10 now my sketch section is ready now i'll say okay control d now make it symmetry and the depth is 60 say okay so my first feature is done now the second feature and for that one second go to extrude this time go with top datum plane normal draw center line first just like this now draw a rough sketch start from here go this side draw like this now the dimension so from here till here till here this is 14 this dimension is 135 and this is 60 now this is a open sketch and open sketch can also be used to remove the material so say okay go for remove material options to next and second direction to next so okay go for mirror right datum plane and say okay now if you go to analysis measure and check this thickness this is 14 which is this dimension so second feature is done now the third feature and for that once again go to extrude same top datum plane normal center line now go for reference select this as a reference draw the sketch start from here come this side and this side 
let it be parallel mirror this sketch with this center line now close the sketch now you can even go with open sketch now the dimension so from here till here this is 7.5 and from here till here this is also 7.5 your sketch is done say ok go for remove material options to next and to next say ok so third feature is also done now your part is almost done now there are a couple of rounds and for that go to round come down move your cursor near to this edge right click and select the edge same thing this side move your cursor near to this edge press and hold control key right click and select the edge similarly this edge press and hold control key right click and select the edge press and hold control key right click and select the edge now this is r20 and say so, okay one more time round move your cursor near to this edge right click and select the edge this is radius 10 and say okay now the last round which is all around radius 1 and for that i'll go to auto round i'll make it 1 and i'll say okay so the auto round is created all around and your part is done now if you modify this part just make it 60 or make it 120 or change this dia from 30 to 40 control g to regenerate the part so now you can see that your part doesn't fail control z so this part is completely done now let's see how to create photorealistic images inside the creo and for that go to applications render studio and change the appearance so i'll use any one of the appearance i'll select my part i'll say okay so it takes some time to render it now i'll go to the same appearance and i'll modify the appearance I'll say OK. I'll close it. So, if you are using latest version of Creo Parametric, then you get this functionality automatically. Now, to convert this rendering into an image, you can go to Screenshot and you can directly say Save. It will be saved in PNG format. But this will be just a screenshot. Now, to convert this rendering into a high resolution image, you can go to Render. You can set your resolution here. You can play with other settings. Now from here you can set your destination folder and say render. So your high resolution photorealistic image will be saved in your destination folder. So this was the fork clamp in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now write your thoughts about this video in comment section below and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.